Hey everyone, my name is Lance. The Pyramid Slingshot is the perfect project for young makers to create their first projectile launcher because it's super simple to build, really easy to use, and a lot of fun to play with. So let me show you how it's made. So first, make three triangles by wrapping pieces of masking tape around the corners of these skinny dowels. You can also use bamboo skewers for this, but I prefer to use the dowels because they're used in a lot of my other projects. And repeat for the other two triangles. Next, you're going to tape the triangles into a pyramid shape like this. Tape the connecting edges in at least two places, once near the top of the pyramid and the second time near the bottom. Repeat for all three sides. Okay, now we're gonna tape on three rubber bands and each one is going to get taped onto the centers of the beams for one triangle. The easiest way to do this is to put the tape into the rubber band first and then wrap that tape around one of the beams. And repeat for all three sides. The last step is to tape on the cup. So just like before, the easiest way to do this is to put the tape inside the rubber band first and then attach that onto the cup. And repeat with all three rubber bands. To fire, first load your projectiles of choice. I like using these foam cubes because they're cheap and they're safe to shoot indoors. Use one hand to hold down the frame, either on the top here or on the bottom. And then with your other hand, use your fingertips to grip the back of the cup. Pull back as much as you want and let go. So that's the basic design. And the reason why it's built around this pyramid structure is because the pyramid is comprised of triangles, which are really strong shapes. Triangles are really strong because when a force is being applied to it, it distributes that force evenly throughout the whole shape. And triangles can't change their fundamental shape without breaking. By contrast, here's a square that I built using the same techniques and just applying a little bit of force causes the whole thing to collapse. This is because the square can change its shape really easily and that force is not being distributed evenly throughout the whole shape. So even though this is just built out of these skinny little dowels, it's actually pretty strong. There are also a couple of things that you can experiment with this. One is just adding on more rubber bands to try and get more power out of it. If you do that, you may need to also reinforce the frame. And the other thing that you can experiment with are the projectiles. Like I said, I like using these foam cubes, but you can also try launching ping pong balls or corks or something else. It's a lot of fun to experiment with how far different projectiles can be fired, and there are some great learning opportunities involved in that as well around density and weight and how aerodynamic the projectiles are. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.